start recording. I'm gonna start recording now because why not? Come on. Freaking fighting in our first A rank. Fly, At least I think it's our first A rank. Wherever it is, it's on. It's somewhere here. Where would be a location, a good location for an A rank on this cliff? Here, no. found anything huh? straight home now or maybe I did what oh. okay the flan prince I think I found him guys Holy crap, you just got a bunch of surprises, huh? Holy crap, okay, that actually took me a surprise. What the heck? I just realized this guy's level 38.
those attacks are Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Oh, dude. I did not notice I was eight levels below that thing. <laughs> dude, I just I just noticed it when it had like 10% health left. Oh my gosh, yeah, clutch. But it's dead now. Yeah, but it's dead it now. Was. He's him for real? See, you get it. You freaking get it. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're at the next one. Secret, he's B rank, shouldn't be that much of a problem as the guy we just fought. Oh, too late. Or too early. I didn't even use it. Okay, I'm just not I'm being too slow. I'm just trying to get fucking used to this yeah. Hold up. I think I'm him. Oh my gosh, I think I'm him, dude. The timing of that, I'll check that in a second, was kind of crazy, honestly. Oh! Oh my gosh, okay. Wait, Kate? How? how Ka Cage? Hello? 
Thank you for the thank you for the tip. Question mark. Thank you for the seventy dollar tip. What the? Were you meaning what? The, is that is that just in general, or, or did you want me to put that towards like the dono goal or the armored core? Which, <laughs> bro? Thank you. What the heck? Out of freaking nowhere with that donation. Actually, it stunlocked me. Well, thank you so much. The locals will sleep easier without him at their game. Also, the timing of that was crazy because the <laughs> freaking DMC music started playing when I was going in. That's actually crazy. All right, on to the next mark. All right, so the next mark should be north of here. So literally just go up. Come here. on, fly, Ambrosia. I don't know what this is. I actually forgot what it is. We just fought the Minotaur thing. So I don't really... I don't remember what... Oh, this. Oh yeah, like the armor thing. I, for, I remember now. Thanks, right. girl. Let's roll ready. All right. More Allegan technology. So, Severian B ring. Alright, show me what you got, buddy. What the hell is this thing doing out of the ruins? Oh. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Come here. Oh, our boy's awakened!
Holy shit. Dude, the, the Raging Fist is so cool. The Raging Fist is insane. Oh my gosh. You have so many ways to like parry and counter and like it's so cool. the ruins it came. And to ruin it returns. Good boy. I still don't know how you activate your thing, but I guess it's after like maybe it's after like you, you do a bunch of success successful like combos and stuff with him. I don't know. But uh we're finally done with that, so we can go back to actually be doing the main story now. Alright. Actually MSQ time. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Auto, what do you got for me, buddy? Otto, is now a good time? <laughs> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing all she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Yo, it's her. Still busy saving the world. Wait, who is it? When did you get back? Just now. Wait, I've never stuff? seen her hair. Her hair's so cool. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria, all the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will he be staying this it's time? It's mid. Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to please oblige her. Her hair is so cool. I love hair, long hair like that. It's not even anything fancy. Well, I just we like are it. busy tracking down Kupka. You should have a little time to spare. Professor, now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. So, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. <laughs> that little... And we walk away. <laughs> yeah, we ain't part Still of that, bro. Was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. <laughs> Me... <laughs> I wonder what Mid's plotting me every time I see a teaser trailer for Destiny 2. <laughs> oh no, man. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Alright, Mid, what's up? What's you up, Snake? Time? I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, it's going good, Snake. Chilling. Is sick at sea now. Gaming. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? 
First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Get into work. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Alright. Guess we're helping mid middle the workshop. Yeah, I'm not walking all the way over there, bro. Jill looked white as a sheep. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Blight water, lit. Blight. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Wait, you were drinking that before? Oh boy. What's up, Blackthorn? Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Till I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Bro, there's something about like those. Carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. There's something about the cutscenes that aren't like a uh, game cuts. Oh, well, it's not okay. What would you call those? Cut so there's the cutscenes that are obviously like like you know story cutscenes and all that, and there's there's the cutscenes just like that one. I remember there being a complaint from someone like, oh yeah, the the facial expressions are so goofy and stuff. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I'm just kind of like, I'm just like, yeah, no, this is definitely a Final Fantasy cutscene. Whoa. Where did this come from? Where the heck did you come from? We got a new sword. I don't know what you look at. You you are a weird looking sword. I will say that. Jeez, looks like you're trying to be a keyblade somewhere. All right, we gotta go down. Oh. I like how the last like four recordings I've made for this game, I'm just like, I'm gonna have to do so much trimming because there's just so much walking. It's not like a bad thing because that means there's less like video to upload. But like uploading one, uploading like one hour plus videos to YouTube is not, it's not, it, it takes, it's like two hours to upload and then three hours to process. It's so weird. Should be enough to keep. How do, Master Sig? Bardolph. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. 
So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. All right. Where to now? Another. Oh, we're going somewhere else, huh? All right. To Martha's rest we go. Sorry, I'm looking at something real quick. Sorry. That part will be in the video post editing. Alright. Martha. Martha. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then.
Oh, wait, I gotta go all the way down here. I gotta sprint for so long. It's gonna take so long, I have to sprint. Just kidding, I have a chocobo. I really wish you could just sprint in towns and like hub areas. Kinda hate that you can't. Good girl. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Bless up that dude. OMG had the perfect timing for like telling me about the plus quest, cause if man, I was just like when he said he when he said I he think I thinks I missed the Chocobo unlock quest, I was like Please don't tell me you mean before, like, the pivotal section, dude. Because uh, I was going to cry. And then, like, the there it is. Like, the, the quest was just right there. I'm like... Plus, and he's just like, plus quests are, are the ones that unlock something. I'm like, okay, thanks for that info. Probably told me somewhere early on in the game, but I just forgot about it. So, thank you for the reminder. Because I sure didn't <laughs> remember. If it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? <laughs> Building a workshop, you say? That beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I was like, <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Hold up. Let me get this tweet. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm <laughs> Look at that tweet, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Dude, it's so stupid. Okay. This <laughs> is so stupid. <laughs> Freaking crying, dude. Oh, God. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking. <laughs> oh, give me a freaking second. I'm actually pausing the recording. We're done. We're done. I'm done laughing. I'm done laughing. I'm done laughing. Yeah. I couldn't <coughs> ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course.
Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. Oh. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. Holy crap, that is not something I expected today. Jeez, man. Oh, so stupid. It's even funny because my dad did forget me. No. <laughs> Listen, I can make the joke. I'm allowed to. This shouldn't take long. It's over. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, I got a Drake. Okay, didn't know you were gonna come from that. That move is top tier, dude. Oh my gosh. The fact that it has a freaking perfect blocked on it, too. Oh my. What does do it us. remind It reminds me of like one of the charge blade moves. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. 
How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century. Looking at the place. Oh yeah, gets gifted stuff to Iron Mouth. Cool. Did I remember. I'm sorry. Elemental discharge? No, it's like a. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. It's uh, what's it called? Um. One of the moves where there's like a there's like a frame in the move where you can block. Head back before she thinks of anything else. Back to the hideaway. Yeah. Well, I was lurking in her stream while my the the second uh, part of the FF16 playthrough was uploaded to uh, YouTube. So that's pro. That's why I pro got gifted a sub. But I was also like, usually I don't get gifted a sub in like large large channels like that. Like it's just, it's extremely rare because you know there's just a lot of. A lot of followers, and then whoever's been in the channel before at least once, even if they don't follow, can get gifted the sub. So. All right, Clive, you've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Arthur's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Oh yeah, we haven't talked to Jill in a bit. Let's go see how Jill is. Oh, this time I actually don't have to teleport because it's right down here. Jill. Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Let me just take her power already. Like, I don't want her to die. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Why is she so hot? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Carpocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. Like, you have no reason being that hot. Like, at all. And you just are. Like, the fit, everything, like, perfect. I think I'll just probably do these side quests off stream if I want to, like, just play the game or do something. Because, uh... I kind of hate leaving the green marsh just there. I want them to disappear. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Togo. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. 
They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Torms? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Vanisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over Ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. But you use lightning attacks. The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, the girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. I see. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. Oh. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. That's why, because she Just was on the brink of... Just when needed him the most. Yeah, she was on the brink of death. That's right. crazy. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. Oh, okay, so we don't got to worry about him. To be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Exactly, just like his and dad regarding said. regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Good, nice. Why the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Hey, yo! There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. <laughs> so stupid, dude. Uh... Does look nice. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, what's that over there? You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. I bet they're all gonna be mid. <laughs> Just like you. Now that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Dude, I can't wait for, like, someone... Like, people to have arguments about this character, and it's actually... People are just gonna be actually... <laughs> I'm just gonna wait to see someone point, point at them and go like, Hey, yo, look! They battled over mid! Oh my gosh. I know someone's gonna do it. Alright. Back to here. Uh, her, her full name is Miradol. <laughs> Apparently, that character is from a past FF game. From what I like, when she was first Under revealed. Hunt for Kupka. Largely in circles, we have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I 
I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? Uh oh. For your oh. Trouble. It was a pleasure being you know, hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? What are you doing here? Fly, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> Looks like we get to peek in on what these guys are doing. Brother. Please don't show me her face. I'm begging you. I don't want to see that old hag anymore. The Dalmechian government is for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The Twinside stores are not as bottomless as reported. Why? And we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Every time I see a cutscene in this area, Very good. I just get, like, I, I want my eyes to roll. The only person I don't, in this room I don't hate is the... Is the dominant uh, fr freaking Dion. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion. <sighs> Firstborn son and loyal subject of Emperor Silvestri, ruler of the Holy, Holy Emperor of Sembrick, as well as the leader of the Empire's most elite fighting force, the Dragoons. Dion is also the dominant of Bahamut, Warden of Light. And has oft been called upon to summon his icon in defense of his countrymen. Most recently, in the year of realm of the realm 873, when Odin took to the field against them in the Battle of Belinus Tor. <sighs> Bro, she really slept with this guy. Because uh, uh, uh. fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. A 
And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Ah, fuck this guy. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be brave. I'm gonna stop. I'm. I. I. I hate this game is doing a great job of having every single kind of like personality or like bit like like just person that I hate, bro. Oh my gosh. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. At least you seem to have some sense in you, Dion. Dion? Yes, sir. <sighs> Why do you keep having holding that fucking flower, bro? You're so weird. Oh my gosh, dude, I hope I get to smack you. Prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. <sighs> if that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. God, I hate it, dude. It makes sense that she'd fall for freaking. Oh, dude! Oh, it's she's. Oh. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Yeah, because he's smart, unlike you. So Annabella's tales were true. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You disappoint me, Dion. Shut up. Oh my gosh. And no wonder your son doesn't like you either. I bet you Olivia doesn't even want to be there. Just being, it's just annoying. Oh, oh my uh, gosh, Elizabeth, I hate that woman. I hate her. Only one way to find out. Dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalette de Portisolda. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? 
There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000! <laughs> and I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kopko withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Jeez. That's how he got away. I knew it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Okay, give me one second. Alright, I'm back. Okay. 
Where are we going? Mid's finished outfit and a little work. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanza and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalimil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalimil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Alrighty. Let's head out then. Oh. Make sure I restock on potions. Don't know if I did. Probably did. Who's this blue blood? What do you reckon, Mitz? What do you make next? And what can I do for you? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Right. Looks like we got new versions of stuff we can put on. Put on more than three accessories. shall come let us away to adventure let's go The Velcroy Desert. We got some new territory here.
Oh man. <sighs> I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Riddle of the Sands. You know what? I'm gonna... Switch to this. What's up, Jovi? Still can't save. Ready, go. Faster. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. <laughs> I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. Is that a red chocobo? <laughs> you were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Well, you're far into the game? I guess so. Who do you think those soldiers were? Oh, Oasis. She Only watch what Dado played. Yeah, this Inn. is probably way Dino, farther than Dado, I believe. Given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on. are ashen steeds no doubt about it and such a long ride from stone here our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn shall we join them run along and play now Torgal dogs aren't allowed inside Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. 
He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. I hate you, Jovi. There's just no way. Why? How? We're really gonna be. It's gonna be like this again. We're not gonna see our brother. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin? Never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in Camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. to lose Friend. <laughs> oh Stay low, uncle. gladly <laughs> Jeez, 
<laughs> yeah, you enjoy with your freaking ale and bread, bro. <laughs> Take me? Oh, right. dude, you thought. Bravo, my boy. Just Come, on. Like that. Come on, make the first move. Big mistake. Buddy, sorry, not really. <laughs> not the bar. Trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss, that soup could do with a touch more salt. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Well, see, in this instance, I kind of get why he has to stay away because of Ultima, but... Jeez, man. So close, yet so far again. Oh, he senses. Clive? What is it now? It is nothing. Let's go. Well, at least you know he's alive. Still, thir 18 years have passed and he still doesn't like eating vegetables. Crazy. to find Kupka before, we do now. The ruler said it themselves. Their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Good idea. And fuck. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. 
We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Whatever this emergency is, they've shut down the whole mine for it. Light it for Gilbert's sake! Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... Bro is capping. You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. That was a lot of extra effort for nothing, I feel, but good try, I guess. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I Sorry. won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. 
Thank you kindly. Give me a second chat. Again, sorry. Sorry I was gone for so long, guys. Uh, something happened. And, uh, I just had to take care well, of it real quick. it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Wait, incense! What, what, candle? Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. think we can trust him only as far as I think you well all right so you're the oh, ones who've course. been sticking around I beg your pardon don't play the fool stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it all right bro oh are not him Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. To the Lock of Leisure. Oh, hey, the bit rate's better. Uh, just wait. Press the 
fresh bread, warm from the oven. Take a sniff, good sir. My carpet. Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Sure. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Sure, man. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. Alright. 
Now we gotta be Aaron boy for this guy. Fantastic. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. the question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gil. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Private guard. <laughs> he must be a generous man. The amount they spend when they come calling. Why is so much hassle happening for us to meet, meet one person? You wouldn't believe Actually, it, it's never that easy. What am I talking about? What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Ugh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. <sighs> Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Sheesh. Needed to a silken softness. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Oh, I guess we're not allowed. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. Sorry. What you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. It's upstairs, but what? Why'd you say but? Let me treat you. Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle?
Hmm. What's going on? Bribing freaking soldiers now, man? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening poppin' jay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. Good boy. Let's go cause some mayhem. I'm gonna stop this recording. Holy crap, it is storming. Uh, jeez.